had returned to a messy house with multiple beer bottles all over the floor, and her husband laying next to them asleep. Well, isn't this just wonderful? You're really such a nuisance. Guan wakes up. Oh, hi, honey. How was your day? My day was going smoothly until I came home and saw that you're drunk and made a huge mess of the house. Drunk? Who me? No, no, I wasn't drinking today. Really? So what are all these beers doing on the ground? Oh, you mean the bottles? Well, I was trying to make an art pattern out of bottles and was going to give you a pleasant surprise when you got home. See, I made a, a square. That's why I'm on the ground. I was trying to measure everything exactly. Gung then burps extremely loud. Well, that was disgusting, and also proof that you're drunk. I don't see any pattern, but I do see that your face is almost the color purple. Purple? Yes, that's because I was exercising. You know, I'm trying to get my body in great physical shape, and then you can show your sexy husband off to all your friends. Ha! Huh. Well, you're a long way from there. Right now, your body is just flappy and awkward. Honey, is it really necessary to constantly insult me? I don't see why I should tolerate this any longer. No, I don't see why I should tolerate this any longer. I am a strong, independent woman that works all day and comes home to a pathetic husband who did nothing all day besides get drunk and make a mess. I have to cook for you and then clean up after you. But what's most important is that you never make any effort to take care of our children. I wouldn't be surprised if you've been letting them drink beer. You know, it's all your fault, and I don't love you anymore. And you don't even care. You just keep drinking and not caring. You hear me? I don't love you anymore, and you don't care. Gung starts snoring loudly. He's fast asleep. Exactly.